Hey guys, Ponce here on the PBE, here to let you guys know about some potential changes to Rise, Riot's most recent balance change seesaw project. Uh, so the actual changes, above my head up in here somewhere in Notepad, for the actual copy-pastable text file if you want it, it's on my uh, in the description below on my website if you want that. But uh, let's talk about the changes themselves. So just going over everything, uh, you know, one by one. First, they've sh changed the uh, arcane mastery, his passive somewhat. Generally speaking, they've nerfed it. Um, so the stack duration, you know, these little stacks you get in the corner here, like these things that you stack up to get the five. The duration that those stick around has been lowered, so it's gone down to 12 sec or 10 seconds from 10 seconds. And the supercharged duration is no longer a flat thing. Remember it used to scale off the alt a long time ago, and then they changed it so it's just a flat six. Now it actually scales based off your Q level, and even at max rank, um, it's only five seconds. So at max rank of Q, you, it, uh, it's only five seconds. And if you don't have any ranks in Q, incidentally, which would be kind of weird, but if you didn't have any ranks in Q, you would start at 2.5 seconds and scales up Yeah, every time you put a point into Q. Uh, next Q itself, that's been changed somewhat. Um, overload damage has been overall increased. They do a weird thing where at level 1 it actually deals 5 less damage, which, you know, just whatever. Um, but then at level 2 it's equal damage to the old version, and then it scales all the way up to 200, so it deals slightly more damage. Uh, the mana uh, cost now scales, so it used to be a flat 40. Now, based on how many ranks you have in it, it starts at 30, so at lower levels it costs less. At max rank it costs more, 50. And uh, the passive scaling now based on overload rank. So as I mentioned, that's now on the Q. And uh, the missile width has been increased Don't from 50 to 55. Up. So, you know, it's a skill shot now, of course, right? So uh, now when you do it, you know, it's more likely to hit something, I suppose. Which can be a good and bad thing. If you're trying to thread the needle between stuff, it's more likely to hit minions. But, you know, if you're kind of off with your aiming, it can clip the edge of champions uh, with its missile, new missile width. Uh, lastly, the Rune Prison, the W, that's been changed. The power generally has been uh, shifted towards the early game or early rank with, those, with that skill. So the damage, uh, higher damage at early ranks, as you can see above me, and at max rank it deals less damage. So at the first rank it deals uh, uh, 15 more than it used to, but at max rank it deals 15 less than it used to. Uh, the root duration scaling you also shift to early game as well. Um, so as you can see uh, above, it starts at one second and goes all the way up to 1.4 seconds now on the PBE. Uh, of course, on live, it's 0.75 seconds and then scales all the way up to 1.75. So overall, this is uh, an interesting set of changes here. Uh, my primary experience with Rise is uh, back when he was on the public test realm. And a lot has happened since then to him. Like, he got all those buffs. And this kind of, what I'm seeing here feels fairly consistent still with what I recall of the old Rise being, where I really, really didn't like him. Um, I thought his early game was just let's like go, let's go. trashy, not good, except when you had, you know, Arcane Mastery, the passive up, in which case you turned into this glowing god that just murdered everything around him. But, you know, if the enemy wasn't dumb, they would just kind of avoid you, and it felt like this really lame game, even when playing against him. It's this weird game of, like, gr red light, green light, and it's like, is uh, Arcane passive up? No, don't attack him. Uh, is Arcane passive close to being up? Uh, yes, don't attack him. Is Arcane Mastery down, and can he not get it back up quickly? Yes, destroy your eyes right now. And so, I didn't like that aspect at all. At all, and it felt, especially, I mean, late game, you can kind of get by, I suppose, with that Arcane Mastery up, but um, in the lane, especially, it just felt kind of like you know, this really lame minigame. And uh, this these changes are looking to address that, I think. I mean, I, I think they're probably headed in the right direction. At this point, Rise is kind of stuck in this gameplay, so that's not going to change too much. But um, they are kind of, it looks like, shifting some power to his early game. Um, just in general, the ability to fight outside Arcane Mastery is better. Um, and then Arcane Mastery itself is being nerfed, so... You know, making Riot a bit more cons consistent, I suppose. I did find it amusing that at least Riot was thinking of this sort of um, these this massive oscillation in, in sort of power levels and you know windows of opportunity to attack, attack and stuff like that. But um, it always felt a bit too extreme, and, and hopefully this does address that. Um, I know Rise has become popular ever since like people saw him in the LCS and alleged. I, I didn't actually see that match, but I think like he destroyed everyone or something. And then, of course, everyone has to try and copy that. So, you know, the balance changes ensue. But, um, yeah, other than that, I don't have really too much to say about it. Rai is still not my favorite champion, and I probably won't be playing him. But, um, you know, it's, it's rather extensive changes. And, uh, yeah, considering the champion was just reworked, 
and they just kind of keep working with them. I don't know. I don't think this is one of Riot's better jobs at this sort of thing. But, you know, you can't get everything perfect. They've released lots of stuff that I have enjoyed since then, or and uh, just kind of in around that time period. So, anyway, I'll uh, see you guys around. Thanks for watching. And, again, if you want the actual, you know, um, the text file you see on the screen, description below, that's available down there. All right, thanks for watching again, and uh, I'll see you all around. Goodbye.